Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today we are looking at the fourth and final Doctor Who Commander deck from the Universes Beyond. It's the Masters of Evil from the Magic the Gathering uh, crossover set. This is uh, the fourth deck. If you want to see any of the other ones, I have already done those. You can check them out. I'll put links at the end of the video. You can check those out. Um, if you're interested in uh, more magic or uh, tabletop gaming, I do talk a lot about Star Wars and tabletop gaming here on this channel and uh, general science fiction uh, tabletop gaming, kind of where those worlds collide. And so, uh, yeah, I'd love to have you guys stick around. We are doing a big uh, round of giveaways uh, for the 12 Days of Life Day that runs all throughout December. If you want to have a chance to enter to win any of those, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and unbox this, and we'll show you all the cards that come in here. And uh, let's just get right to it. All right, so we've got our whole deck of cards. We're going to open this in just a moment, but there's a whole bunch of other things that come in here. So we, we have um, a little insert that is going to give me a little primer for how to play the deck, um, a little bit about Commander and Plane Chase, which is one of, one of the variants. They have these oversized cards that are going to come in here. Uh, we have a little bit on Missy and Davros. Missy is the, uh, one of the later incantations of the Master, and Davros, who is the leader of the Daleks. And you've got... Uh, uh, all of that. So this is pretty cool stuff. Uh, I, I love the thought that they've put into these decks so far. They've been very cool. We have our uh, our life counter here. It's double-sided. goes up to 40 on the back. Uh, we have our die for, uh, for the uh, plane chase. Basically, it's a D6 with a Magic the Gathering symbol on the front and then that uh, chaos symbol on the back. And um, let's see what else we've got here. We've got... Uh, We've got the Plane Chase cards. We've got a little booster pack that's going to have two cards and a promo card in there. We'll unbox all of these. We'll take a look at those. We also have our uh, insert that has some tokens on there. And it has a little uh, punch out for Missy. Uh, of, of like a kind of a fake version of Davros on the front. Uh, and then uh, a Davros kind of uh, punch out on the back and then all these little uh, tokens if you wanted to use uh, like uh, time counters or something like that. Uh, if you like counters, I definitely want to plug our sponsor, uh, Luxury Playstyle. Amazing full metal tokens. Head over to LuxuryPlaystyle.com. Uh, they have such a huge variety of tokens for lots of different games, including Star Wars X-Wing, Star Wars Legion, uh, Key Forge, Magic the Gathering, uh, lots of plus one, plus one tokens. Uh, they're double-sided and they're minus one, minus one on the other side. As so you can stack them, they can they, they, they fit together. These are absolutely gorgeous tokens, folks. And have these on your tabletop when you're playing your games really helps elevate your gameplay experience. Uh, they come in a variety of different finishes for a lot of these tokens, too. Uh, like, like some of the Star Wars ones come in all black or, uh, or various shades of a silvery metal. Um, like, look at this one right here. Look at that. It's too beautiful double-sided evades on the back. These are gorgeous tokens, folks. If you use code VIP while you're checking out, you're going to save 15%. Uh, so head over to LuxuryPlaystyle.com and do that. Uh, orders that use that code to spend $35 or more are going to get the Krabok token thrown in. Uh, it's got the 5 on the back, the C on the front, lightsaber nunchucks, the whole deal. It's awesome. Head over to LuxuryPlaystyle.com. Check those out. Uh, well, now let's go ahead and get this deck of cards. All right, so we've got our foil-etched display commander, which uh, they have Davros here now. Um... This is not an actual card. This is just that really, really thick one. It's going to be slightly different than the actual Daphros foil card, which is quite pretty. You're going to get that in the box. You also have, um, have Missy here, who is just... This is a really nice looking card as well. And I definitely love Missy. She is super cool. All right, let's go through everything else, the non-foil cards. We've got... Uh, the Auton Soldier. I think these are these the Plastic Men from that first Christopher Eccleston episode. Uh, the Flood of Mars. Oh, Cyber Conversion. We've got uh, Hunted by the Family. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was a that was a cool episode. Um, a Dalek Drone. Oh, right. Um, menace keyword. I'm not, I see Menace a lot. I don't. Have, there's so many keywords I have to look up. I don't know what that actually does. Uh, the Vashta Narada. Uh, indestructible. Oh, only a 1-1, one, one, though. Huh? Uh, a Time Reaper. Oh, man, there's so many cool things. 
Uh, Doomsday Confluence. We've got the uh, Toy Maker's Trap. We're going to see a lot of cool stuff in this deck because this is the only one of the, uh, the Doctor Who decks that features black in the colors, which is cool. Uh, Vislor Turlo. We've got the Genesis of the Daleks. Um, this is how it ends. Oh, that was a, such a heartbreaking scene. I remember that one. Death in Heaven. Delete, because you will be deleted. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, wow, that's a heck of a card, too. X damage to each non-artifact creature and each player. Oh, boy. Ensnared by the Mara. We have the Day of the Moon. Lots of villains are there. The Master Multiplied. Oh, I know that version. That's a great episode or a great, uh, a great series. Um, oh, here's a class one. Uh, the Master Mesmerist. Oh, very cool. Um, oh, Rassilon. Okay, the war president. Okay, um, the master Gallifrey's end. Uh, lots of versions of the master. Uh, the veil yard. We have a weeping angel. Oh gosh, I love the weeping angels. Um, the beast, deathless prince. Oh, I love that one. I remember that. That was oh, that was cool. That was cool. He was basically like supposed to be Satan, I believe. Uh, we've got the Rani. Got uh, Psychorax Commander. Oh, cool episode. That was uh, when David Tennant first started off his series. That was so cool. The Cyber Controller. <clears throat> the Cult of Scarrow. <laughs> the Dalek Emperor. We've got uh, Ashad, the Lone Cyberman. We've got Blink. We've got uh, the Master formed anew. We've got a Cyberman Squadron. We've got a Cyber Ship. We've got Wound Reflection. A blasphemous Act. And, uh, oh, I know this one, Solemn Simulacrum. This was a great card. I love that they've done new art for existing cards. There's not too many existing cards that I remember, but that's one that I do remember from, I think, what, Miraden, maybe? I don't know. The Sound of Drums, uh, River of Tears, uh, Foreboding Ruins, Shadow Blood Ridge, the Smoldering Marsh, the Temple of Deceit, the Choked Estuary, Oh, I'm, oh, I know that level, too, that went under the ground. The Sunken Hollow, the Dark Water Catacombs, the Fetid Pools, the Temple of Malice, the Canyon Slough, 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 Exotic Orchard, <laughs> the Temple of Epiphany, the Frost Boil Snarl, Storm Carved Coast, the Fiery Islet, Islet, Lava Claw Reaches, Shipwreck Marsh, Drowned Catacombs, Haunted Ridge, Dragon Skull Summit, Creeping Tar Pit, the Gallifrey Council Chamber, the Renegade Silent, oh, the Silence, oh, yeah, oh, the Zygon Infiltrator, oh, the Zygons are so cool, Shapeshifters, mm-hmm, Don't Blink, oh, yes, Exterminate. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, great card. Cool. Dalek Squadron. <clears throat> a Sontaran General. The Great Intelligence's Plan. The Cyberman Patrol. The Cyber Mat. The Clockwork Droid. The Midnight Crusader Shuttle. A laser screwdriver, not a, not to be confused with a sonic screwdriver. Um, the arcane signet, the soul ring, the thought vessel, the mind stone, lightning greaves, propaganda, feed the swarm, snuff out, uh, commander's sphere, wayfarer's bauble. Talisman of Dominance, Talisman of Indulgence, the Command Tower, the Terramorphic Expanse, 
the Thriving Moor, the Path of Ancestry, Temple of the False God, Reliquary Tower, Crumbling Necropolis, the Ominous Cemetery, and we've got two basic islands, oh, two basic swamps, and two basic mountains. Although it was like Swamp Mountain, Swamp Mountain. And then we also have a couple extra cards. So that's everything for the deck. We also have some tokens. So we've got a treasure and Dalek token. Oh, I like that. Uh, a clue and a copy and a weeping angel and a Dalek. Another weeping angel and a Cyberman. Oh, okay, cool, cool. We've got uh, Mark of the Rani and... Uh, an alien angel, and then copy and another alien angel, and then a clue, and another Dalek, and another Dalek, and then Mark of the Rani. Uh, we've got the Cyberman, and another Mark of the Rani, and another Cyberman, and another Dalek. And a reference card, and a little info card. So that's it for the basic cards. We're going to take a look at the uh, plane chase cards here. All right, so first up, we've got the City of the Daleks. We have the Moon Base. We have the Dalek Intensive Care. We have the Bowie Base 1. We have the Doctor's Tomb. We have Aplan Moratorium. We have Unleash the Flux. We have the Matrix of Time. The Hotel of Fears. And the Mondasian colony ship. That's gonna do it for our plane chase cards. Uh, last but not least, we have our little booster in here. One, I would be remiss if we didn't un uh, open this one up and, and just see what we're gonna get in here. We're gonna have our, our little promo card. Oh, we got an alternate art, Missy, which is pretty cool. So I could swap that out for this one if I wanted to. Although I think I like the foil better. Um, and then we have Heroic Intervention, so. Yeah, there definitely are different all uh, different art versions of these, so if you want to get boosters and swap them out and stuff like that, or make your own decks, you can do all of that stuff, but it's very cool, all the art that they've put together. All right, so that is about it, plus we also get this uh, deck box, which is enough to hold all 100 cards sleeved, although not much else. So if you want to sleeve this whole deck, which I think pretty much everybody does nowadays, um, although I used to play with a guy who refused to sleeve any of his cards, and they were ragged, but he loved them, and you know what? I, I he, he was a fun guy to play against. But yeah, um, so that's I think that's about it for this uh, the, the Masters of Evil uh, Commander deck. Definitely uh, uh, going to be fun to use this against some of the other Doctor Who decks that are out there. Uh, if you guys uh, want to check out more, I'm going to have some links over here at the end. And uh, if you want to check out some of the Star Wars stuff and all of that, you know, I'd love to have you guys stick around. You can join our Discord as well. We have links in the video description below down there. And uh, that's going to do it. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing and help make this whole channel possible. Thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you later. May the Force be with you. Live long and prosper. Uh, so say we all. The spice must flow. Always wash your socks and have a great day.